What's going on, YouTube? Uh, I'm back after uh, kind of an extended hiatus. A uh, couple of things. Um, had uh, some things that were going on. I know you guys probably don't care or whatever, but that's why I had the extended absence. And uh, I got that figured out, so we're good there. Um, I hate being cryptic and stuff, I really do, but I don't want to get into too many details because I'm sure you guys don't really care, you're just here for the videos, right? I'm just some random guy on the internet. Um, but I got that figured out, so hopefully moving forward, yeah, I can do this regularly again. Um, I just, just didn't feel like I could get that uh, video quality and have the have the enthusiasm for making videos that I've been having. Uh, it just wasn't there, but now I'm here again. Also, I uh, hit 1,000 views, which is just insane to me. Like, I had a thousand people watch a video. Like, I, I, I'm still trying to comprehend it now. Um, yeah, that's, that's crazy. So thank you guys so much. Uh, for everything and I've been trying to think of something that I could do to say thank you guys um, I have no idea so leave a comment down below 24 hour stream over the weekend that's cool I don't care just let me know down below and I'll figure out a date and time let you guys know and we'll do it also my hair is all sorts of messed up Ugh, so is my beard all right whatever uh, let's get to the video all right, and we are here in our match, going first, playing some Jess guy, or I don't even know what to call it anymore. Oh, this hand though, yeah, we'll keep this. Uh, got a fatal push. We got options, puns. Opponent mulliganing. Uh, hopefully this opt can uh, find us stuff. We're just gonna lead on an island here. And say go. So yeah, uh, I actually have really been out of games. I haven't played MTGO in a while, so we might get Raffle stomped. <laughs> I love Opt mainly because we have a blue mana, do we have spell pierce, do we have spell snare? So many different things we could have. Also, doomed traveler. So probably tokens? I can dig it. I don't really know how our matchup's gonna be, but we do have this fatal push that can do something. This is a red land, I'm definitely gonna keep it. Oh, Felidar Guardian, we're gonna have to bottom that because that's not a land, ooh. Also not ideal there. Uh, that's actually a pretty good draw. I wish that I had let on this watery grave now, but you know, happens. So depending upon what they play, we can go Sahili next turn, or we can hold up Terminate, depending upon what they play. So this is definitely white black tokens. Not white black tokens. Uh-huh. So I'm definitely just going to jam Sahili here. I mean, they want to hit, hit her for one. And then that way we can start getting the scry abilities up to just try and find some answers here. Pose board, we will have a lot of board wipes, although with Blood Artists, kind of sketchy. Ooh, Spell Queller. If only we had White Man. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and run out Sikili. I'm also okay with this because we, already, we have another copy over in hand anyway, so. I wonder if opponent knows what may or may not be coming depending upon what we scry into here. Hopefully a white source, that would be ideal. Sacred Foundry would be the best. Mana leak. Uh, I don't feel as though that's a very relevant card, so I'm going to bottom that. 
hopefully we can hit a white source because then we whenever we play Nahiri, Nahiri exiles, so Blood Artist will not trigger. Alright, an opponent missing their third land drop, which means they have a ton of gas in hand. They are going after Sahili. Kind of figured as much. Uh, Sahili, block it with your face. Good job. Oh, no, they did have their third land drop. Never mind. Another Doom Traveler. So now Sahili's going to be getting hit for two. Ooh, Snapcaster Mage into Opt. I actually really like that. Oh, whoops. Let's not skip our turn without scrying with Sahili. I almost forgot. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and do that real quick. Another Terminate, definitely don't want that. Do I want to Snapcaster Mage here main phase? I mean, either way, it's going to trade with the Doom Traveler. Uh, we'll see. I, I think I'd rather keep it up that way. Uh, I can Fatal Push or Terminate something if I need to. Alright, which it doesn't... Well, I think I'm just going to let Sahili take four here. Mainly because, again, if something bigger and scarier than Doom Travelers come out, I, I want to be able to have the option of uh, Fatal pushing it. And... Ugh. I really wish I had Spellcrawler mana right now. That's no bueno. So we need cat like yesterday along with the fourth land. Good thing is between Fatal Push and Terminate we'll have plenty of things that we can do. Especially if we draw another uh, red source here. Or no, we need black source, never mind. Can I cast my opt please? You gonna fatal push my snappy? Uh, always yield. Cast opt. Island. Not a white source, so I'm gonna bottom that. Ugh. Come on, white source. Oh, we got the cat too. Alright. Let's uptick Sahili. Scalding Tarn is white mana, so we'll keep that on top. Play Fumarole. And we do have a chance. Let's see. One, two, three. No. Sahili's going to die. Hmm. How do I play this? I know I'm getting white mana next turn. Alright. 2 4. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fatal push, I think, the spirit token. Huh. I don't know. Maybe I'll just push the blood artist. I actually like that a little bit more. Yeah, I'm gonna push it because then I can. Uh, I'm not gonna block with Snapcaster Mage because Sahili's gonna die anyway. I play Felidar Guardian, blink, fell, uh, blink the Snapcaster Mage, gain uh, another Fatal Push out of it. So yeah, yeah, okay. Th this is making more and more sense. The more and more I'm talking my way through it. <laughs> Unless they only attack with two. Oh, I was about to say. Everything going on Sahili? Okay. Let's see. If not, 
uh, we were gonna win the, this this turn. All right, well we'll just go ahead and fatal push away the blood artist. Or maybe do I just hold up Queller mana? I guess if they don't flashback Lingering Souls, I hold up Queller. Huh. This is really interesting. I could also Nahiri away a uh, Doom Traveler. Zealy's gonna die, so I'm not gonna waste a Snapcaster Mage. So. I'm also hedging that they don't have a removal spell, though. If they rip a removal spell, I think we're just gonna be in trouble anyway. So we definitely need to get Sacred Foundry here. Untapped. Alright. Add white, add blue. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. Play the cat. I mean, I guess we could also leave up terminate mana. Although I think this is just more efficient this way. Although I I, I should have attacked with Snapcaster first. Yeah, that was that was a mistake. Doomblade. Okay. So now we definitely just blink this give us more red mana I know it's really really painful but now we have terminate mana open so unless they can kill the cat which I don't know why they would waste a doom blade if they didn't have another one one two three one two Okay, if we draw another land here, we can actually hold up Queller mana too. Or if we draw a mana leak or something like that. Although mana leak isn't that good right now. I guess uh, we'll see by what how they play this. The other thing is we don't have to worry about lightning bolts, so we can freely block Doom Travelers. Opponent really thinking. Maybe they already maybe they have murder and they're wondering if they use it now or not, since I I have the two mana open. So, if they kill a Guardian, what do we do? Terminate something end of turn, flash in a Queller on their turn, and then play Nahiri and start exiling away Doom Travelers. I like that. I can get that is a plan that I can get behind. This is also, of course, if our opponent did not disconnect. Which is looking more and more likely. Maybe. Maybe not. I guess they're really thinking about whether or not I have a uh, counter spell back up here. I don't. Obviously. But they don't know that. They don't have to know that. Ooh, flashback lingering souls. Sure. Only attacking with spirits. Alright. This is also why I added uh, Liliana, the last hope, into this deck. 
I'm running two copies of it in my paper version. Because Lingering Souls is bad beats against me. Um, I'll take two. I'm going to use uh, this Terminate at the end of their turn if they don't play anything else. Or maybe I just hold it up as counterspell mana. No, I, I want to be efficient with the mana, and we, we already have another plan of using them anyway. Although, him not attacking with Doom Traveler kind of wasn't very good for us, because now our Nahiri got worse. Well, we have another Sahili, so... I mean... We're running it out there. Always yes, always yield. I do in fact know how this combo works. But it's good on the opponent, making sure that, uh... Alright, making sure that your opponent knows how the combo actually works. So for this, we definitely want Damnation, Inquisitions, Angers... Uh, I think it's really it. What do I not like? Nihiri just seems like a 4 mana, minus 2, exile 1 thing. Not very good. Uh, Remand seems really bad. And... I'm not a fan of mana leak. But I feel as though it's better than... Oh, they're going to have... Uh... Surgical, too. So I think we're going to run down one of each of the combo and bring in Elspeth. Usually whenever I play black decks, especially whenever I know they're going to be running Surgical Extraction, I always try to bring in at least one or two more uh, big game finishers. I know Elspeth is kind of clunky at six mana for this deck, but sometimes you just have to do it. Alright, so, do we get a good hand? Um, not the best, but we do have one of our sideboard cards. And a lot of mana, so, I guess we can keep this. Alright, so they play Planes, and Doom Traveler on one seems good. So we're going to play Island Serum Visions, I believe, and then go from there. Probably Wandering Fumeral on two. Ooh, Thoughtseize. I think that changes things. I think that changes things. I'd rather have a good look at their deck, see if they have uh, any sideboard cards of their own. Where we changed to Death Shadow. Lol. <laughs> Alright, ooh, so. Yep, Lost Legacy. Although they don't have black, so. Do I just take the Blood Artist or the Zulu Port Cutthroat? Also, I guess this is a white-black uh, Aristocrat, Aristocats, Kratz, uh, Lost Legacy, I guess. We're not really going to be doing much uh, killing cards since we have Anger in our hands, so that's cool. Plus, I also forgot about Lost Legacy. That's another reason to trim the combo a little bit. Alright, so they played their planes. Hitting us for the one. Alright. Oh man, and we drew an opt. So, no, I, I do not need to be greedy. <laughs> I need to play the Wandering Fumeral. 
And we're just gonna go ahead and Serum Visions. We draw another Serum Visions. All right, so that's one, two, three, four, five. Uh, we do need another white source, so I'm gonna bottom that. I think Snapcaster Mage is fine, even if it does just flashback uh, Serum Visions. So if this is just going to keep poking us for one, and he doesn't, and he's not able to play out any more cards. Uh, I think we're just going to Serum Visions opt this turn. Oh wow, and he's not drawing any black mana either. Uh, so we have more black cards that are good, like Inquisitions and stuff. Blood Crypt, ooh, there's the Elspeth. Um, I kind of just want the Elspeth, honestly. I know we're going to draw it with the opt, but... Since our opponent is so light on resources, we can play to a long game. We're still going to be short one white mana, unfortunately. So hopefully we can draw. Oh, they got their black source. So I'm going to let them run out a couple more cards. That's Zillaport Cutthroat. I'm not going to anger this turn, but I probably will next turn. Alright, and we are going to opt. We already know our top card, which is going to be staying on top. And draw for turn. Oh, and there is our next white source. That, I think that is probably going to win the game for us right there. Uh, I can snap Serum Visions, which doesn't seem very good. Uh, I'm going to save it. I might snap Opt. Although, I still don't really want to do that because it still gets hit by Anger. <laughs> yep, we take two. Down to ten. Which is fine, because this turn will Anger follow it up by an Elspeth. And I honestly don't see how the, Arist the Aristocrats deck beats this. Yep, there's Blood Artist. Uh, we'll crack this. So we're going to be at 9, which is fine still. Uh, we definitely need another white source. I think we're going to grab Hollowed Fountain. Alright. Well, there's another white source anyway. Alright, so we'll get the whole 3 for 1 here. He doesn't get the trigger for anything. Uh, we'll play Godless Shrine tapped. So next turn we can just play a Island into Elspeth and win. Because Elspeth. Elspeth was my favorite Planeswalker. She's still, she's still like right there with Sahili. Like, I just love her backstory and everything about her. Also, those tragic slips, not looking very good in our opponent's hand right now. Uh, we could see if the coast is clear, but I doubt that this deck has anything to deal with uh, Planeswalkers, so. Uptick. Make some duders. Actually, I think this is the first video where I've resolved an Elspeth. Hmm. Next turn, we can Inquisition away something if we want to. I'm curious if he's going to tragic slip one of the tokens. Part of me sometimes feels bad whenever I have hands like this, and it's just I draw all of my gas where my, where my opponent just 
can't seem to do anything really. I'm sure they have a bunch of removal in their hand. Spot removal doesn't really do much against Elspeth though. <laughs> they probably have like five Lost Legacies in their hand. So, fun fact, uh, she's she's about to ultimate, I don't think I'm going to do it. I do think I'm going to snap Serum Visions here, though. Maybe. Oh, looks like our opponent has lost connection to the game again. Unfortunate. I wonder if he's going to uh, come back this time. Oh, no, there he is. Okay, cool. No offense, I just... I just hate games like this. It also might be running uh, board wipes in their deck too. So I guess this is the right play. Um. Ah, all right, uh, that's fair enough. See, a little mini board wipe. <laughs> so they have Tragic Slip and Doom Blade, so we're definitely going to take the Doom Blade. Um, I mean, keep making duders. Uh, main Phase Snapcaster Mage, always good. And that's where he scoops it up. Because that, that's where I just bury him in card advantage, and yeah. Alright, well thank you guys so much for watching, and as I said at the beginning of this video, uh, let me know what you think I should do for my, like, uh, thank you to you all for the 1,000 views on the video. Uh, I know it doesn't seem like much compared to these other YouTubers that get millions of views a day, but hey, I'm tiny, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, but yeah. As I said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that like button while you're at it. If you like this video, leave a comment down below about stuff and things. We'll, we'll talk about it because I love talking to you guys on the channel. Uh, anyway, see you guys in the next video. Bye.